What's up traders? So there's been a lot of action recently around Binance and also Coinbase as well. We know the SEC and CFTC were both eyeballing them and it was just a matter of time. Coinbase had already received a Wells notice and let's be real, CZ is a criminal and it was just a matter of time before Binance got in trouble for illegally marketing its services to United States customers. And as if breaking the law blatantly wasn't enough, they went ahead and just put it in writing as well and somehow the SEC has gotten a hold of that. So at this point in time, it's not even a question of if CZ is a criminal and if Binance has been breaking rules and regulations. We know for a fact that both those things are true. So that being said, if you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you've probably heard me on multiple occasions and multiple videos talking about how the next shoe to drop, so to speak, would be the fall of Binance. And now it looks like that's inevitable. So here we have the Binance chart on the daily here. Before we get started, I'd like to remind you this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile, so please do your own research and trade responsibly. So this thing's at some key levels. We're on the daily, but I like this chart because it portrays exactly what took place. This thing basically just went straight up from around $40 straight up here to about $250. And then it just traded inside this range for the last two years. We've come down here to the danger zone on a couple occasions and almost lost that support, which obviously would be catastrophic, not only to Binance, but to the crypto markets as well. And now we have the SEC talking about freezing funds and CZ coming out, telling everybody everything is SAFU. Sounds like this is the beginning to the end. And obviously they already cracked down on CZ's best friend and secret lover, Sam Bankman Freed. He was arrested, charged, and will probably spend quite a bit of his young life behind bars at least until they decide he's too much of a liability and give him the Epstein treatment. But this isn't about Sam Bankman fried and FTX, who was basically doing the same thing as CZ. No, no, this time we're talking about Binance. So let's switch over to our candles and take a closer look. All right, so here we are on the daily with our candles, and you can see that we were in a massive bull market here. We saw 200 simple get on top, 200 exponential clawed up here one more time, and then we put in a lower high. After that, we dropped down below the 200s and went into this bear market. Now here recently, we had gotten back on top of the 200s and we've been trying to hold this level, but now we're threatening that once again. So we basically had this first peak here and then another peak and now we're at that key support. So if we lose the support right here, we would expect to break down and hit the measure move to the downside. So if we turn on our drawing tools here, that measure move to the downside is this white arrow here and would essentially take us down to retest the lows. But in that meantime, we've been operating inside of this channel, putting in higher lows and higher highs. Unfortunately, the last time we came up here, we failed to take out that previous high. So what looked like we were slowly marching to the upside, now we're down here threatening the lows. Now it doesn't mean we're going to break through this green support and close below it. It doesn't mean we're going to lose this ascending channel and then suddenly hit the measure move for that or the actual channel itself, this red arrow here. But we're definitely in danger of it. And at this point in time, we've went from the top to the bottom. We have our orange fib in place and we came all the way back up to the 618 all the way back down to the 236, back up to the 0.5, and now it looks like we're going back down to revisit the 236. Normally what you wanna see is like two moves to the upside, then one down, then two to the upside, then one down, and you wanna take two steps forward, one step back, but slowly just work your way back to the upside. Well, that's not what's happening now, and we're getting ready to threaten these lows, it looks like. So the most important thing that I'm paying attention to is on today's close, are we gonna close below 273? Because if we do, it look really, really bearish. The last two days, we closed at that support level and just sat there. And you guys know that normally when we hit a support or we hit a resistance, we wanna see a strong rejection. We wanna see buyers come in at support. We wanna see sellers come in at resistance and push the market away from that. That's not what's happening right now. We're just hanging out at that level. And again, it does look like an Adam and then rounded Eve top. And we know we've seen that quite a few times before in Binance's past. So let's take a look at that. So if we just zoom way out here, I went ahead and turned the FIB from our low back here in 2020. That's the Rona low all the way up to the high right here. And you can see that on the right side here in blue. So essentially what it is, this support at the 236 here has created this neckline. And we saw initially a sharp top, which is an atom, and then a rounding top, which is an eve. And when we came down to this level, it looked like we we're gonna break, but instead we just came up and put in another in a series of lower highs. We had this green resistance right here. And then eventually we broke through that resistance. We pushed to the upside, we put in a new local high, but that was surrounded by a bunch of bad news and failure, came back down. And again, we've just been operating inside this channel. 
So the real risk right now, obviously short term, is that we break down from this channel and that we retest the lows. But at that point in time, if we do break down from those levels and retest the lows, we have essentially what amounts to the biggest danger in the crypto market. Everyone has been saying for a long time that Tether blowing up was gonna be the big event. But the truth is, I think Binance is much more important and BNB potential blow up could be pretty serious. Obviously, BNB is a utility token, so Binance rewards you for holding it. You get discount on trading fees. And now Binance is the biggest exchange in the world. Now with the SEC going after them, not only for unregistered securities, but also full on fraud operating inside of the United States and a laundry list of other things. The fact of the matter is, if your funds are on any of the Binance platforms, they're no longer SAFU. So we're seeing record outflows in the billions, tens of billions, and it's probably just gonna be a matter of time before we see a Binance crater. The same way that FTX token melted down and eventually blew up the entire exchange, I wouldn't be surprised to see something similar with Binance. They've been commingling funds, they've been doing basically anything illegal under the sun, and then they've been intentionally lying about it. And as if that wasn't enough, they have everything perfectly documented as if CZ was doing an expose on himself. But I'm sure everything's fine, so I'm not calling for doom and gloom, I'm just saying there's potential for it, and more so than we've seen recently. Oftentimes, you'll see a technical setup play out, and then time will just kind of go by, and then suddenly a fundamental event will trigger it, and that will be the catalyst that causes the technicals to play out. So in this case, the breakdown from key levels of support and potential loss of the 236 neckline would take us down to our next key macro support, which is the 382, and that's at $115. Currently, we're trading at $266. The 0.5 is next down here at $66, and then the 618 is down here at $38. And right now, obviously, $38 sounds pretty crazy considering we're at $265, but you can ask FTX and Sam Bankman-Fried how quickly everything can cave in once your Ponzi scheme implodes. So I'm gonna turn off the drawing tools and then we're just gonna focus in on this area to the upside. So this is essentially what we're looking at. This is that $38 level and then it takes us up to essentially where we're at right now, that key support around 260. And we can see this is a daily chart. So this was literally just a matter of days. We're talking about roughly 20 something days and 544% to the upside. So if we switch over to the weekly chart, we can see just how catastrophic losing any of this support levels would be. We essentially just have one candle here up to $68. The next candle goes up to $135. And then the third one took us all the way up over $300. So there's literally no trading volume that took place during this pump. We basically just have a little bit of buying and then no one selling. And that caused this massive pump. Was it all fake? Was it artificial? Was it manipulated? Well, yeah, we know that for sure because CZ has already admitted to it. So when and if we do threaten those levels, there's nothing that's going to save us from that big drop. And again, I'm not saying it has to happen. Maybe we're just gonna take steps to the downside. We see also that these candles line up with the macro fib here. So I'm sure we're gonna stall out along the way. We also have our weekly 200s down here exactly at that 236 as well. So there is still some support to hold on to. But again, the most important thing that we're watching right now is the 821 bear cross, the back test of the 200s, and then we need to see this area hold. If it does not hold, that's when I'm starting to expect massive moves to the downside. And it's not crazy to think that we could see BNB dropping by roughly 80 to 90% in value. And if we just jump out here real quick to the monthly, you can see clear as day that that $200 is basically a line in the sand. And if we do lose that $200, it's just this one candle. This is the crutch that is holding up the entire Binance Ponzi scheme. So how strong is this one big green candle? Well, we're probably about to find out. So yeah, that's it. Just want to talk a little bit about Binance, BNB, and CZ. Obviously, he's been running a big Ponzi scheme for some time now. Not only has he been trading unregistered securities in the United States, but he's also been blatantly doing a bunch of illegal stuff like commingling funds as well. So obviously everything is alleged at this time. Maybe we'll find out that it was all AI generated and that CZ didn't actually admit to all the crimes that he's been doing, but it's highly unlikely. I have a feeling he's going to be joining SBF on the government's special list of crypto bros very, very soon. Obviously, Coinbase has dropped quite a bit lately, and we've seen a little backlash from them as well. It doesn't look like they're doing things quite as blatantly illegal as SBF and CZ have been doing. 
But the fact of the matter is they've been offering unregistered securities to their clients in the United States for years. And there's no doubt in anyone's mind that that is in fact a crime. So I don't know if CZ and Binance are going to go the way of SBF and FTX exchange. But at this point in time, seems pretty likely. And the technicals are definitely pointed to the downside as the 821 bear cross has just taken place and we're getting ready to lose some key support. So for all you hodlers out there, good luck. For all you traders out there, might want to think about de-risking your positions or potentially opening up a short if we do start breaking through some key support levels. So yeah, it's been uh, blatantly obvious to pretty much everybody on earth that CZ is allegedly a scammer, that BNB is a trash fiat crypto with fake inflated trade volumes and obviously price as well. And once the government regulators get you in their sights, they're not going to leave you alone until they milk every last dollar they possibly can and probably put you in a dark cement cage with steel bars. But who knows? Maybe it'll be different this time. So yeah, that was fun talking about BNB, CZ, and what I've been calling the next biggest fraud in crypto. Obviously, everything stated in this video is just speculation as technically CZ is innocent until proven guilty. But seeing as to how he basically admitted everything himself already, I don't think we're going to need to put top lawyers on the case to figure out if he's guilty or not. So yeah, that's it. Please remember this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. These markets are extremely volatile. So please do your own research and trade responsibly. Crypto Trend Trader, and I'll catch you on the flip side.